Um, you know that you know what the treatment for Graves' disease was a hundred years ago. No, iodine. Um, there is much in the literature from the late nineteenth century to the early twentieth century, case history after case history after case history of treating Graves' disease with iodine. Um, and um, in our office, we have seven practitioners. We all pretty much treat it the same way. We use iodine all the time for Graves' disease and. Um, the conventional treatment for Graves disease is using radioactive iodine where you burn the, the radioactivity kills the thyroid gland as it's taken up. It's radioactive iodine. So as the radio, radioactive material binds to the thyroid gland, it destroys the tissue. And, um, you know, treating somebody like that reminds me of, you know, well, I got an infected fingernail here. You know, what, what do you think doc? Well, let's just cut off the finger and we've solved the infection of the fingernail. Um, so what we treat Graves' disease with is clean up their diet, get sugar out, and get gluten out of the diet because gluten cross-reacts with thyroid antibodies to stimulate the thyroid gland. Um, um, high, higher dose iodine helps to calm the, uh, the, uh, the, the oxidative damage that's going on in the thyroid gland. And then things like B vitamins and vitamin C also helps to squelch that uh, oxidative stress that's going on in the thyroid. And, you know, we, we just don't find graves that hard to treat in our office. Yeah. I've had, I've had very similar experience where the gluten-free diet, you know, for many, you know, will take their, their antibodies level down to, down to non-measurable, you know, and then couple that with good nutritional support, good nutrients. 